everyone. So, I'm Tristan Hume and welcome to my talk at the Game Developers Conference. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can optimize the network performance of your game. So here's a typical game processing flow. You get your packet from some other player, you have to parse your network format and do some processing for your game logic and then generate buffers that you give to your GPU and then your GPU does some rendering and this all takes approximately forever or like 16 milliseconds or something like that. Anyway, I'm here to tell you how to make your game look like this. That's performance. <laughs> So how does this work? Well, you've heard of Direct 2D, and I'm here to present Maximally Direct 2D. So, so a bit of background. On computers like my laptop, there's an integrated GPU that shares memory between the CPU and the GPU. This allows for some interesting tricks. So the basic flow is that I can use Apple's Metal API to allocate a buffer that's shared between the CPU and the GPU. Then I can use the receive syscall from the kernel to receive a UDP packet into the buffer and then render directly from the buffer with zero copies. This has the minor, minor caveat that my network protocol has to be the vertex data that I want to render. Um, so, <laughs> this has some uh, things about it. So, it, it you saw how there's no processing time? Well, you can make nice minimalist games with your low processing or no processing. Um, there, some people say that this might be unsafe. I say, who needs locking? Um, and that actually they don't spend much time on packet processing. Well, don't you want the fastest possible game? Well, now you can have it. And it also only works on LAN since it uses UDP broadcast packets. Um, but this is all, the whole point of this is minimal latency. So why would you be playing on anything other than a LAN? And also, the, I have a problem where I can't stop the app from receiving its own UDP packets. Um, so otherwise, if I didn't be careful, uh, I could accidentally render twice and hit a race condition and blow up. Um, so instead, I just have that app trigger its own rendering via UDP and it all works out. And this is a unified data flow. So all the packets, whether they're local or remote, go through the same flow. Anyway, uh, here's a demo video. So you can see we have two laptops, and there's three squares. Um, I was serious when I said minimalist. And <laughs> one square is controlled by WAST, one's controlled by arrow keys, and one's controlled by the mouse. And they're very synchronized between the two computers. And the goal of the game is that there's no set goal of the game, but my favorite goal of the game is to try and touch the other player with your box. Uh, <laughs> yep. So I'm also going to give a live demo. Uh, so I have the app here. This won't be the minimal latency version since the uh, Projector forces my discrete GPU. So there it is. Oh, you're winning. Oh, no. The mouse is desynchronized on the projector. That's too bad. But yeah, I can move things around with the arrow keys, and the latency is very low. Uh, <laughs> because when I'm moving squares around, all I care about is low latency. Anyway, that's my demo. Thanks. Woo!